Good morning, guys. Thank you for joining on this, what is it, Thursday? This has been the longest week ever. But oddly, I'm at one of my favorite places, but it's not the reason why we're here. Uh, we're at, I'm pull, picking up some folks here at Advent Health and in Altamont. And you guys know how much of a fan of uh, Advent Health I am. It is not an Advent Health commercial, but they're single-handedly responsible for saving my life. So, and the Cancer Center here is the one that saved my life. So, uh, big fans of Advent Health. And it's no surprise that some of their employees do bigger things outside of what our Advent Health already does, saving lives every day. But I am welcoming in two amazing people into Results One. And the reason I'm keeping the dash cam forward is because I've already got the guests in. We're not picking them up. So, I gotta give you guys a little intro here. So, we'll flip the camera around. I've got Kay in the truck here. Uh, Kay uh, is part of the Honor Flight Foundation. Is yep. that the actual uh, name? Hub chapter. We okay. call ourselves Hubs. Hubs. Okay, yeah. I like that. A little abbreviation it's like for a everything. like a flight thing, you know, Right, hubs. right. So I have two amazing individuals in the truck with me today. I've got another gentleman right here behind me. better have. Okay. No, certainly oh. not that. I'm Landy. <laughs> and Landy's back there. Hold on, I'm going to switch the camera here. And get it so we could get the right camera. There he is. Landy behind me right there. And we're cruising around Altamont this morning. No specific reason Altamont. Just that's where they're at. And I had to pick them up from out here. So, okay. Tell me a little bit about yourself first, if you don't mind. So, I am a veteran myself. Okay, uh, thank you. As is Landy. We are... Uh, what branch? Army. We are both West Point graduates. Um... So, we, so I can't talk too much smack because usually I say I'm an Air Force guy. Yeah. And I was like, I just. Oh, you kind I, of you were military. Do well, kind of military. <laughs> I just scored high enough to have options. Yeah. So, oh, he was a pilot though. Uh, well, he when he some, said West yeah. Point, I was like, I can't talk any smack because I'm probably dealing with commissioned uh, individuals well, in my vehicle yeah, here. Yeah. So, sorry, yes. go ahead, go for it. So, uh, so we both we met at West Point. Um, Landy did go on to flight school and served. For almost 30 years as an RBA. Wow. And um, after commissioning as a quartermaster logistics officer in the Army. Okay. I got out after about five years of active duty service and went into the profession of pharmacy. Okay. Um, after retirement um, and a long, amazing uh, Army journey, right. we landed in Orlando and said, hey, we want to continue to serve and continue to give back. How can we best do that? Um, and that's where we fell in love with Honor Flight. So did you find Honor Flight or did Honor Flight find you? I, Honor Flight found us. Really? And actually, I, if you... If Landy, tell me a little tell bit about... Well, tell me first, what did you fly? I flew Blackhawks. Of uh, course you flew Blackhawks. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a Blackhawk pilot. <laughs> yeah. They're cool. They're I know cool. plenty. And yeah. uh, as a airman, yeah. uh, you Blackhawk pilots love scaring the absolute crap out of us, especially if us Air Force guys didn't fly. You guys loved get, seeing the fear in our eyes. I love so, my Air Force pilots. God, so, you know, awesome, awesome. Branch. So yeah. if you don't mind, just speak up a little bit for me. No, I love every branch of service, including my Air Force brothers. Amen. But uh, we actually were at Starbucks one day. Okay. And a uh, young lady had a shirt on. It was a Porsche shirt. And I love Porsche. It's not that I can afford Porsche. <laughs> but uh, we started talking about Porsche, and she said, were you, were you military? I guess I you know, still had a nice haircut at that point. Right, right. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And she talked to me about Honor Flight. And we said, yeah, we've seen we've seen the organization. We've seen the veterans in the airports. We thought it was really, really cool. How can we get involved and help? She goes, oh, my goodness. We she's like, wait, that. you're you're wanting to help out. So yeah, she's like, I, I can help you out on that. Yes, yeah, so her name was Karen, Karen Aldi. She is our director of program. Okay. Yeah, for the organization. So when people hear Honor Flight, yes. to me pretty self-explanatory right but to someone that may not have any affiliation what are we dealing with here what is honor flight in a nutshell who wants to take that I'll one? take that one so honor flight was founded in 2005 yep. um, by a veteran who was a, a PA a physician um, and he was seeing patients in a in a VA facility and he had this old World War II veteran and he said they they finally got a monument for you in Washington DC they had erected the World War II memorial and he said are you gonna go 
and he's like, I can't afford to go. I can't afford wow. to fly there. I don't right. have that kind of. Um, he was in Ohio, yeah. And so he got together uh, some buddies of his who had private pilot's license and got their little planes together. And I just did got the chills. I just very got first chills. honor flight and, and took a bunch of World War II veterans to see their memorial because they were not going to ever get to go. And yeah, I get emotional. Yeah, I get, I, I'm about sitting here it. getting choked up about it because, like, being a combat vet myself, two tours, it, it means the world that we stand on their shoulders for everything right. that they did. And to think he thought he would never be able to see his brothers and sisters and where they're represented. That's right. Yeah. That's pretty heavy. And it is It is amazing. It is amazing. And so that's where it all started. Okay. Uh, and that's the mission we continue um, is to, to provide a trip to memorials uh, that honor and celebrate our veterans um, in their service. So this happens every year every year there's over 130 i think now hubs around the nation okay um there's 10 in the state of florida so the one that's leaving from here next month in central april florida. is yeah, the central the florida, florida one that's so that the there are other flights Absolutely. throughout the country happening at the exact same time yes. to yes. get to dc all yes. together we yes. often meet there together all okay of us in different color t-shirts yeah veterans are veterans right, right. loving one another we uh, tend to see quite a few on the mall at the Marine Corps uh, Memorial as well. Okay. Uh, it's just an incredible day once we arrive at D.C. And this is expenses paid for Expenses them. paid for, absolutely. Yeah. There's a national hub that helps us tremendously. They meet us in Baltimore where we fly in to greet the veterans. Incredible honor is the key word. In this oh, absolutely. Flight. And then we also see a bunch of folks and leaders from the national hub and volunteers when we arrive at the mall. With signs and always just greeting them, can't excited. Believe they go, yeah. it's, there's yeah. people there waiting on them. So and the and are, the heavy part of this, yeah. let's let's talk about the other side. Absolutely. These veterans might be alone. These yes. veterans may have nobody else, and yeah. it's just them in this world yeah. and their experiences. So this could be one of the most emotional, powerful moments of their life. It often, it often is. is. Steve. Mm -hmm. Even those who have loved ones. There's a big difference. You've served in combat, so have I. Not everyone right? gets it. Not everyone understands the bonds and the, the camaraderie that exists between people that have put themselves in harm's way to protect one another, right? Right. Uh, so even even if they have a family and a bunch of friends and family and, and loved ones, that they don't talk about the things that no. they can talk about with their fellow veterans and their comrades. Right? Man. So it's very healing, I will say that. Absolutely. Uh, I can see that. We've been a lot of Vietnam veterans lately. Okay. And, uh, I get a quite often when we come home and I say welcome home to each and every each and every soldier or sailor or right. marine. I salute them and one gentleman grabbed me and hugged me and goes, I waited way too long for this, but this is well worth it. He was in tears ah. because we had a band plan. We had all the beautiful citizens of Central Florida welcoming these fine men and women home like like no other. That's amazing. It's, like we got it's, right? Right, right, like, like we, we got. Yeah. That right. they it's should so, have got. Right. 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 So when we say expenses paid, obviously fundraising needs to happen. Of course, uh, yeah. events need to take place uh, to fund this kind of stuff so that the veterans are worry free. That's right. What's taking place on Saturday? Uh, I know what's happening. Even before I was Trooper Steve on the news, <laughs> I was Trooper Steve on a motorcycle yeah. hanging out at the Oviedo Mall for this event. Uh, yeah. Walk me through this because Oviedo Mall, one, they do great things. They host amazing events out mm -hmm. there. But this is close to the largest car show that takes place. And it's happened, this is the sixth year in a row now. Right. So well, it's bigger, bigger. a little COVID yeah, interruption well, 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 there. Yeah. But yes, I say it's amazing. Sixth year. Yes, yes, yes. COVID yeah. was that mental pause yes, for all of us. All of us. We all but get it. It is so amazing. It is so amazing. It is called Hot Rods for Heroes. Right. Boom. It yeah. is our... It, vroom, vroom. You can't say it. Uh, it is our really one big fundraiser that we do every year okay. to help support flying our veterans um, and our mission. And, and it is, as you said, it's just unbelievable. We have the greatest turnout. We have cars of all types, old cars. We have we always have these superhero cars. They're so they're cool. a local chapter. Yes. I have met these guys. They show up at, at everything. At everything. And the cars are decked Incredible. out. They are amazing. Motorcycles too. Now. Not just motorcycles. Cars. So you guys, cars. this is a Police free for, vehicles. free for all. Free for all. Bring your 
anything. As long as it's street legal and it can street get there. Street legal and it can get there. Okay, if not, tow it. You yeah, guys know I, I got to bring the tr- I got to bring the trooper out in me a little bit here. But we do have some that get towed. Yeah, I've seen them yeah. because part of it they don't want to. They don't, don't want to put miles on it or right because they're beautiful. Yes, I've seen some yes. cars there that they're the first owner. Yeah. And they've yeah. had it since the 30s or the 40s right. or something like yeah. that. It's amazing. So proceeds go towards... Uh, it all goes to Honor Flight. Yep. So, to include the sponsors that are involved. They know what they're getting involved absolutely, with. Absolutely. absolutely. And know this. Say it first and foremost. All of our board members and all of our volunteers, including us, we're the co-chairs. We're all 100% volunteer. 100%. Nobody gets a paycheck. No like nobody's... A right. I don't think a lot of people understand that. They, so no, yeah. Because... I'll paint a picture for the viewers right now. So you guys know that I work with a lot of different foundations, uh, local, national. Most of the national organizations, which I would consider Honor Flight a national organization, these guys take paychecks. Uh, Some take large paychecks paychecks, uh, in order to provide the services that they're doing. Uh, For example, I'll give Honor Flight and another foundation a huge shout out. Uh, Honor Flight, think about what they're doing, what we're talking about today, and the COPS Foundation, the Concerns of Fleet Survivors. Uh, huge organization that puts on amazing events, and none of their, uh, their staff takes a check. All volunteer. All uh-huh. volunteer yeah. base. Yeah. So what does that do? That allows 100% funds to go back to the source yeah. of the mission. Yeah. And by looking at this, this is not a cheap mission here. Right, right. So walk me and- through the logistics of what it takes to get our veterans yeah. to DC. So so we have a board of about 12 individuals who are the rock the cornerstones of this operation. We uh, the flight that you're going on uh, will be a chartered flight. Um, so we have to do all the background work of getting the actual flight. Um, sometimes we do fly commercial, um, which is has its own different challenges. Right. Um, and then we coordinate, we have orientation the week prior to the flight, so we coordinate a venue for that. And we, it's on my calendar. We, we're going to feed you an amazing lunch. Awesome. From Mission one of barbecue. our great partners. Okay. Mission hey, Mission Barbecue, barbecue. another yes. great organization. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, they're a huge supporter of us and so many others. Oops, and then, um, so we, we plan all of that. We have okay. all the venue ready. We have uh, orientation. We flight day. We, you arrive, we're gonna feed you breakfast, we're, we're planning the, the flight, we've got all of the venues booked uh, for all of our memorial visits. We have um, lunch. Okay. I think yep. for your flight, we're doing lunch at the Marine Corps Memorial. Wow. Um, we'll sit there for a while and just bask in the glory of the, the memorial and have a lunch. Um, we plan for a visit to the Arlington National Cemetery Changing of the Guard. Um, which is always a highlight for Getting our the tangles veterans. again. Getting uh, the tangles again. It's such. How many have you been on? Mm, probably. Uh, s- I've been on about uh, six. I think I've been on about so, seven. Eight. So, yeah. It's funny. You, literally, they're all very, very different. They're all amazing, but every single one's different. Explain uh, that to me, though. Yeah. yeah Explain that because. On the, the mix of veterans. For yeah. example, we used to have a lot more World War II and Korean War veterans, as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, those typically have family members uh, serving as their guardians. So you see a lot of bond building between relationships between family members, yeah. a young son, or even a granddaughter once we had to go with her granddad, right? Oh, wow. And they're learning Ugh. about so you know, their crazy. stories. So yeah. you like I like seeing that, that big generational gap because, yeah. let's be real, I don't think anybody who has not served that's currently either in grade school or college has any idea what has like taken that. place yeah. and what it took Yes. to make what we have now possible whether whatever your opinion is on yeah. anything right. whether you're a griper or a praiser these men and women allowed that That's to right. happen God bless America. Yeah. and yes. oh man I'm about so to I'll put say, my red white and blue on man. <laughs> so I love and I love sitting back watching the dynamics I'm sure oh yeah but now cool. we're starting to get a lot more Vietnam vets okay I tell you, those oh. guys are Oops, they right? like to cut up. They yeah, like to cut they up. Like to cut so up. now we're in the mix with <laughs> and the And them stories. having time yes. with each other is oh amazing in a whole new and different way. Yeah, you almost like, need to guard it. It's because they're, <laughs> they're mean, just taking they, care of each they're other. They're taking Absolutely. care of each other yeah. and they're sharing the stories when they right. go to the wall. Yeah, it's just, it's very emotional. Emo- I mean, it's just, it's it's kind of cathartic almost, I think, yeah. and healing, and oh, we'll it's just incredible we'll just experience. Stand, we stay with, with them yeah. and stand behind them and 
Let them. Have you had reoccurring? Vets that no, continue we because we have so many, many veterans in Central it's a one time right kind of thing. Kind of but we do have a lot that then come to be volunteers, volunteers. with us because they just love what we do and they yeah. still feel like they've got the energy to yeah. come and help set up chairs at That's orientation right. or, or whatever. <laughs> yes. it is. Right, right. At the car show, in fact, we have we'll have a lot VIPs of okay. veterans several will come that have been on the flight. We've got about three that's going to talk to the crowd. Wow, yeah. and, uh, a, a couple. Yeah. Really, really oh, great veterans who have really uh, special. some great stories, too. Yeah. They'll tell you how Man. the day was for them. So but, with uh, this organization, you, you see it's gone from a, a PA getting just yeah. some buddies some together yeah. to actual, now, full-blown national, over national recognition. Over 250,000 veterans over, have been flown. Yes. So, okay, we I want my producer to ourselves. make sure he knows that. Over 250,000 250, veterans, veterans that threshold this year. have been Nation sent. Nationally, yeah. In part of this organization. We, Central Florida, have flown over 1,100 ourselves. So, 1,100 out of yeah. the Central Florida chapter. Right. Yeah. My goodness. So, how many are we going to be sending to D.C. in April? I want to say 50, a total of 50 veterans. 50. 120 50. total to flight home. Right. So, we have veterans, guardians, uh -huh. and, of course, staff. Gotcha. So 50 veterans, uh, at least. Wow. Yeah. As many as we can. Is yeah. this the first time, and maybe I, I, that it's been going to be documented from a news crew on the plane, or has it been done before? We have had um, radio, stations radio station on before, yeah. but I don't think we've ever done news. <laughs> and I think so. that um, we've had cameras where we produce like content for, for our, right our right of course of course got to bring whatever. awareness to it yeah. and stuff like that but but this you yeah you're gonna bring us to a new level well you guys reached out to us <laughs> yes I, I, you yeah. guys were like would steve want to fly oh, and i yeah. saw the email and i call i swear i called my producer immediately before i even replied <laughs> to anything i go what do you think yeah. And goes, what's the boss going to think? And she's like, I think this is a brilliant idea. Yeah. And now, Steve, we're going to put you to work now. I'm ready I was just going to say. <laughs> look, look, I'm a worker. I'm wheelchairs no, now. No, no, I'm a worker. <laughs> Even my production crew will do on shoots and stuff, and they'll have to tell me, put the bags down, Steve. Because, <laughs> right. yeah. like, I'm a worker. I don't yeah. mind getting my hands dirty. And when I found out that it was required for me to have a guardian, what else yeah. better yeah. Yes. to yes. be on an honor flight yeah. and be responsible for somebody and hear from them directly yes. oh like, and build a connection and that to know that they're is, here homegrown yes right. yes life changing they're for here. both of you i assure you i'm we, sure we had a, a recent maybe it was two flights ago three flights ago we had a guardian who i mean he he built a relationship with his veteran they had dinner together all the time he would go um hang out with him and unfortunately that um guardian got sick okay and he was he sat with him in the hospital the whole time wow i mean the veteran uh the veteran got sick and he sat with him in the hospital the whole time and and he passed away and i i believe he ended up being the pallbearer yeah. i mean the, yeah. that was the strength of the bond that came out of that, part of family from that he day became yeah. family and that's what we talk about a lot at honor flight is once you're part of us, you're part of the family. I always say it, on a flight like, for a day, on a flight for life. So now you're you, part of on a flight for yeah. life. Right? You guys get me crying. That's here why I want to come to welcome home <laughs> ceremonies. I want the veterans to be welcome and, their brothers and sisters right. back. You come and be a part of that. And Man. Yeah. You're always a part it's, of it. Yeah. You're always a part. And this Hot Rods for Hero car show this weekend is full yes. of that family feeling. Well, you show is, up and you could feel the yes. vibe there. Uh, you yeah. hear the music and you already know without even seeing a sign, okay, this is veteran base, this is a patriotic theme, everyone's out here for the right reasons, and it's yeah. just such a good, it's, it's a good time. One of the most patriotic events, I think, in this area. Really? Yeah. I it's, would agree with that, because, you know, it's unfortunate, we don't do a, too much here in Central Florida uh, when it comes to stuff like that, so that's awesome to hear. Yeah. What kind of funds do come out of Hot Rod for Heroes? So. What kind of money have you guys raised when it comes to that single oh, day that event? Single it depends. Day. It really does. But we, we hope to always at least have at least 50K for revenue, for example. That's, That's month, huge. Right? That's huge. Yeah. yeah. And we make it worthwhile. We have a flyby. Most of these folks are all volunteers, too. Right. We're yeah. paying them to do these yeah. things. Right? You're just kindly yeah. asking, and they're kindly yes, saying they're yes. Yes. We have a bunch of other veterans support organizations 
there as well. Okay. So it's not just about Anybody artists, you want to give a shout out to? Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. You gotta say now. I'm pretty sure we'll. You have, can give uh, one or two of them. Not all of them. It's I'll free. Say, I'm sure Gary Sinise's team will be there. Ah, uh, the, the Sinise yeah, Foundation. Yeah, the amazing yeah, foundation. Yeah, but we have a number of veterans support organizations okay. that we allow to have tables and booths too. Uh, and then, of course, we want to make sure all the veterans and all the community learns about their mission as well. This so is cool. It's not just yeah. about Honor Flight, although the proceeds. Well, it goes to it, but it's military awareness. Yes. It's just letting people know the types of acts of service that yeah. are out yeah. there every yeah. single yeah. day. And yeah. every year, the bagpipes from the uh, city of Mount Dor and the Central Florida First Responders. Okay. We represent it. They always are. They're incredible. Man. Uh, you know, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, you name it. Well, Seminole County Fire Sheriff's Department, Office yeah. says yes to everything. Oh, my gosh. Sheriff They're Lima so, and his group. So supportive. All the time. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Flying. And we, the weather's looking good. The weather's, the weather's looking, looking good. good. I, uh, our meteorologist this morning, she was like, it's going to be warm this weekend. I was like, even better to get out to the car show. Yes. Kind of thing. <laughs> it's not raining. It's Florida. I don't want to hear awesome. any excuses yeah, awesome. about any of that. Yeah. Um, how, just a personal question. How did you guys uh, get involved with Advent? Oh, that's where I work. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah. you got involved out here. Yeah. So when we when he retired um, to Florida after he got out of the army, uh, his first job was here in Central Florida, and uh, I got on the team with Advent Health. Gotcha. And, and it is. Do you work for Advent too? Or, I do not. I work are you for just CBS Health? Gotcha. So you're CBS here for moral support yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Making it easy here. for Making you. It easy yeah. So I don't have to. <laughs> Run ride share all over the place. Yeah, yeah. We're both in the healthcare industry for sure. It's amazing how that act of service continues yes. with a yeah. lot of people, with, no matter what they did, whether they were a cook, whether they were maintenance, uh, enlisted or commissioned. After you leave that, it's really hard to get rid of yeah. the it's want to heart, do right? something. Yeah, it's in your heart and soul. You That's right. Right. Like that. It's right. not like you're just going to go sit stale somewhere. There's not a veteran I know that is not still doing something yeah. all the time. So yeah. we'll expect a lot of veterans out there this yes. weekend. Yes, yes, uh, it's going to be starts awesome. Starts at 11 o'clock. Uh, around 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock, the cars will start rolling in. Okay, because yeah. I saw registration was like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then the ceremony portion, 10, 11, 10, uh, when we do, uh, you know, the flag and, and all the bagpipes and stuff. Right. right at noon, uh, around, yeah, 11 or noon. Yeah. So you want to make sure you guys get out there early. If you're watching us at News 6 Plus, clickorlando.com or the News 6 app. Uh, if you're looking for something to do this weekend and have a good time and not even realize how much good you're doing, you need to go out to the Oviedo Mall. Uh, Hot Rod for Heroes starting bright and early, lasting till about... Probably 2, two, two, two we start yeah. tearing down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day out there. 100% of the proceeds go right 100%. back. One, zero, zero percent. Go all right back to the honor flight chapter here right, here in central, in central florida. florida so think about that um there are some foundations i'm not going to call them out but when you donate it goes to a big bank account in in the sky, uh, in the sky. <laughs> and then these chapters have to fight for stuff this is coming right back here to central yeah. florida so that these guys can continue to do no you're good we're stopped we're in the parking lot <laughs> Uh, He's I, the, the trooper. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. The car goes, <laughs> um, and it allows them to do the great things that they're doing. Our veterans that we're flying are Central Florida veterans, right? Absolutely. They live right here they in Central. They live right here. How do you guys go about finding them? Oh my gosh. This is one way. This is one way. <laughs> so if uh, you're a veteran, show. if you're a veteran and yes. you're a World War II veteran, a Korean War, Vietnam, Vietnam, oh, right. Vietnam and you've yeah. never seen your monument, and I say that like that. Your monument, right, your monument. Uh, in, in our country that represents everything that you've done, you deserve it. And you Absolutely. should reach out Absolutely. to the foundation. Honorflightcentralflorida.org. All smushed together. Yeah. That's, easy. That's easy. You can sign yeah. up online now. We make wow. it as easy as possible. Yeah. Okay. And you'll have a guardian. You don't have to have one. We'll provide one for you. Some dedicated, motivated citizen that wants to spend mm. time with you. Oh, yeah. Man, you're about to break out into a Jody. Yeah. All of a sudden, right there. That's what it sounded like. I was like, oh, high, motivated, high, dedicated. dedicated. Yes. Right. Right. Awesome. Right. So, is there anything you guys want to add? Uh, I think we covered every range of what you guys do. Yeah. A little emotional at the same time, yeah. powerful. This is the stuff so I wish I could talk about every day rather than telling people, hey, stop at stop signs, uh, don't speed. <laughs> 
uh, and, and all that common sense. Oh, that's important too. Yeah, yeah that's oh, important I mean, too. But we need some of that in Central Florida. We do, too. but yeah. our veterans are number one. You guys know I love uh, our armed forces. I'm a huge law enforcement supporter, obviously. Still rocking yeah. my credentials yeah. here and there. Yeah. But I want to thank you guys, seriously. I know you yeah. guys are busy. Uh, a lot of events coming up, huge schedule, especially with the flight taking off in yes. a month and yeah, change. A month, a month. yeah. Uh, the yeah. 20th, I think it is? Yeah. 27th. 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 